Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Kelsey. Today I'm going to be answering some beauty related questions. I asked you guys a little while ago on my Instagram for makeup related questions, skincare, hair care, all of that sort of stuff. I'm going to answer them today. I'm also really happy to announce that this video is in partnership with Sephora. I love my Sephora team and I'm really missing Troop SC right now. We were supposed to be reuniting, but of course because of the circumstances we can't, but I'm still happy to be doing a video with Sephora. So any products that I'm showing you guys to help me answer the questions, you can shop them all in the links in the description. They're all from Sephora. Okay, first question is, my face is so dry that it peels. I use lotion and serum. What else can I do? So I picked this question first because this was the story of my life. I had this problem for so long where it would peel like I had sunburn almost but I never had sunburn it was just that dry so the first thing is it's kind of intense but if your dry skin is that intense then you're going to need it is using the moisturizers that you have three times a day so when I wake up in the morning like after I brush my teeth I put on moisturizer and then if I'm wearing makeup that day before I do it I will put on moisturizer and then at night when I'm doing my night routine washing my face whatever I'll put on more moisturizer so that really honestly helps me but obviously number two is just drinking a lot of water I know people are like tired of hearing that it's just like oh good skin drink water but it's true that's kind of like a way of your body telling you that you're really dehydrated so that helps as well as I would suggest using a really nice hydrating mask about two times a week and then once you feel like your skin is getting more normal then like take it to once a week or however much you feel like you need but a while ago I was at a spa and they gave me this treatment of like an algae face mask and it was like the best thing ever fed to my skin and I've been craving it since but I was shopping on Sephora like literally a week or two ago this is new I just tried this during quarantine this is the Bobbi Brown skin nourish coral grass and green algae moisture mask so it was like an algae mask it reminded me of the one that I had gotten and I've been loving it it's like the same thing and this is just such a good mask it is so amazing I've been loving it and I also love this packaging it's like a little paint tube it's so cute so those have been my main three tips I've been following and I don't have that problem anymore second question is best way to cover up acne I decided to choose an acne question. I used to avoid these because I never really knew. I felt like I wasn't qualified to give the advice because I never really had a struggle with acne until quarantine happened. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have a big obsession with making at-home matcha lattes. I just love matcha so much. And I was drinking about three of them a day regularly and I was making them with whole milk. That's three glasses of milk a day and my body wasn't used to that and I started breaking out like crazy. I did switch to almond milk. But during the time that I was having this issue, this was the product I was using. This is from Sephora. It's the Clear and Cover Acne Treatment Concealer. It is 2% salicylic acid. So it's basically skincare and makeup in the same product, which is amazing. So it's like healing you while also giving you the coverage you need in the moment. So this is in the shade Linen. This is shade two. So I use it as the same color as my skin, not like my under eyes where I use it lighter so it like highlights. I use the same color so it blends in. And then I'll use this brush from Sephora and it's just like a little pointed fluffy brush so then I'll just like dab it like that and blend it in. I have this from our Germany trip still but I like this because it just gives it sort of like that even blend. I didn't want to use my finger because I felt like that's not really sanitary so this is like this was my little duo for my little dilemma. And yeah so also this product is really affordable so I know a lot of you out there this was like one of the number one questions I had. This is amazing. So I will actually put this as like the top link in my description if you guys want to shop it. Okay the third question that I have I chose because I also really related to this was I use body oil when I tan but I burn fast fast in all caps what product do you use so same thing with me when I first started learning to like lay out and tan um, I was just using just straight up body oil and I would literally get a sunburn in like 20 minutes of standing there so one year it was even so bad I couldn't even sleep at night that's how bad my sunburn was so please make sure one use SPF and cover yourself and protect yourself because it's way better to have like a beautiful healthy skin when you're older and not get skin cancer than to be kind of tan now. So this product that I use has been honestly a little miracle. This is the Josie Moran Whipped Argon Oil SPF 45 Body Butter. So me personally, it was always a struggle to find a product that was both like an oil body moisturizer to tan with but also something as like a sunblock. I felt like I had to choose one or the other was having a high sunblock or having like a moisturizing body oil. 
this is great. This is like the highest I found in one is SPF 45. So I like the whipped argan oil. The oil, it's kind of like leaves your skin glossy. It attracts the sun. It's got the SPF 45 to cover you. It smells amazing, which is the best because most tanning products, to be honest, don't smell that good. And also the whipped body butter is super intensely moisturizing. So your skin never gets dry. That also helps lock in the tan as well. And um, you're sweating. So usually you like need to hydrate your skin. So this is like everything in one. It like checks off all the checks on the list. I really like this product. Um, and like I said, it smells so good. The next question is, I don't want to waste my money since there's so many. So top fave beauty tools, please. Okay, so I have this. I still have it in the box because it helps me keep it organized. This is a like stone set of like different types of rollers from Sephora. If you're retaining water, ladies, this is amazing. If your face is puffy in the morning to just like massage all that out, it brings blood circulation to your skin. This stuff is great. And then this one as well. I honestly like to use... I like to use this little pink one like on my shoulders. I specifically like this one the best. This is my favorite to like massage up and like get all of that, you know, drainage out of my face and like this little double edge here. I like to use it right here on my cheekbones and especially like it's allergy season so in my sinuses here feels so good and right under my jawline is really nice too. I don't really use many other beauty tools. I like these. They're effective and they're fun and they're really pretty to just put around your bathroom. So I really highly recommend these but like I said I don't really know of any other beauty tools that I use so I'm just a little biased because this is all that I use. So yeah this is the facial stone set and I like that you get three. Most places you just have to buy them like individually but I like this little set so you can like try different ones and like figure out which one you like um and also this kit is more affordable than most individual ones on its own so that's also why I recommended this one because you mentioned you're on a budget so I like this this next question is I admire your rosy cheeks thank you I don't wear much makeup though so how do I get that look okay you don't need a lot of makeup to get this look at all I have a full face of it doesn't even look like it at all this is a full face of makeup to me and I do this normally just for like photos and videos but on the daily I wear maybe five at the most most products are less so you can still get that like cute glowy rosy look without having to like pile on different products so I have these two here I use them like a duo they're both from Giorgio Armani and aren't they so cute they're like pink and they're like little lipsticks so you can throw them in your bag pop them on whenever and it's so nice so this one's a liquid blush and this one is the highlighter so you've got your glow and you've got your rosy cheek so I just literally like to do like little dots like that I usually put more but I don't have a mirror to see what I'm doing and I use my fingers and just sort of like blend them out and I like this because it looks like the most natural using like the warmth of your fingers to like blend it into your skin and then this glow is so so pretty I feel like it'll match with every skin tone too it's kind of like a universal just glow um it's not too gold it's not too pink and you can just blend it in like that really simple really easy you can keep your skin bare I don't really use foundation at all um, but I like this much better than any sort of like powder highlight or blush because I feel like like I said it just looks more natural plus going with the first question like if you have dry skin that's another thing I forgot to mention using liquid products for makeup saved my life stop using powdered products use liquid and cream products the best thing you can do okay so for my next question don't mind if my eyes keep going over here I have my windows wide open there's a bee in my room so just in case anything happens we can catch it on camera at least okay so the next question is just an all caps hiding dark circles so I honestly don't really get dark circles only when my sleeping patterns are bad which is usually like when I'm traveling or something like that and like you know my time is all out of whack so I have this product specifically for that and I've talked about this product before it's so good I've had it for like two years this is the Becca under eye brightening corrector so this it comes in two shades light to medium and this is like the pinky sort of shade so it's like a color corrector concealer <laughs> the bee. hi guys I'm over here now the bee kind of charged at my face so I'm gonna wait over here till it's gone okay we're safe we're safe I'm back okay so it's a color corrector but it's a concealer it does have coverage so I love that you don't have to put like concealer on top of this next question is how do you style your hair claw clips for buns I always love yours well thank you I've been using these like crazy. I discovered how amazing they are and I'm going to show you how I use these. So this texture right here is honestly the best texture for doing these sorts of buns. Something with volume but like a little bit of wave. If you have straight hair, of course you can do this too, but I just personally like this better. So I sort of bring it all back. I try to avoid having a middle part because sometimes it looks kind of dumb when I do that. So I bring it all back like I'm putting my hair in a ponytail and I'm going to twist it. 
like that, just a little bit, not all the way down. Bring it to the top of my head and let everything else flow down. And then I'm going to grab all of it in the bun here, but I sort of like shake it so that it's loose. And then I bring like a bunch of pieces down. And then if there's any like little curly pieces, you can like sort of pull them out or like just make it look really messy. Sometimes it naturally looks messy, but then sometimes I accidentally make it look neat. And then if any of them are like too crazy, just like open the clip a little bit and like put them back in. And yeah, not my best one, but that's typically how I put them up. And these things are amazing. I don't remember where this one is from, but you can get these literally everywhere. Our next question is, in all caps, best red lips please. So this I picked out to show you guys because this is my everyday lip gloss and it is red, um, but it's a lip oil. This is the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in the shade Red Berry. I can't live without this color. They come in other colors, but the Red Berry is my favorite. I wasn't wearing it right now, but yeah. So it's like, it's red, but in like a very like quaint, faint, little glossy like hint of red on the lip. Or for an intense red, I'll use something like this. This is the Tom Ford Lip Sculptor Crayon in 09 Crush. And I like this because this red is, it has like an orangey undertone, which is the only red I honestly like to use when it has that sort of like orangey, tangerine sort of undertone to it. So I like this red and I like this because it's like a lip liner and it's pointed, but you can fill in your whole lips with this. So it's got nice precision because red lips are the messiest lip color. Like I can never get them straight when using a lipstick. So I like using this product. It makes it really easy. And then the last question I'm going to answer is I don't like rose. So what setting spray do you recommend? First of all, I'm so sorry. I love rose. Rose is the best, but if you don't like rose, this is the other setting spray that I use like on the daily and it doesn't have really much scent to it. It all. I mean it's kind of like fresh smelling but it doesn't have any like floral or rose scent in it so again when I was in Germany with True Bestie they used this on me when they did my makeup for the photo shoot and they gave me one so I've just been using this every day it has a really nice sprayer like the spray that it projects it's like a weird thing but like sometimes sprays are like really direct or like they're too misty where like almost nothing gets on your face so I like this one but yeah it's just sort of like a refreshing spray so this one doesn't have a lot of fragrance which is also great if you have sensitive skin those are all the beauty questions I have for you guys in this video. I normally don't do Q&A's that often, um, but when I do it's usually on like my Instagram stories because there were so many more questions that I'll probably answer more on there. So you guys can follow me on Instagram. I will have it here on the screen and below. And also below, like I said, all the products that I mentioned will be able to shop in the links in the description. Everything is from Sephora, so thank you to Sephora for partnering on me with this video. Also make sure to subscribe. I post videos every single Friday. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.